here before we get into the candlelight service tonight and uh, things we need, we're going to do before it gets dark. Before we get an open flame going on. Okay? Amen. We're going to start with the kids tonight, Sister Ruth. Uh, I said, Sister K, uh, the kids' car got something. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's uh, one of my favorite times of year. Uh, I love the excitement. I love the hustle and bustle. I love the look on the kids' face when they open all their presents. The feeling that you get as a parent, you know, seeing the excitement. But I love what the season is all about. Right. I love that we can come and we can celebrate for all this time, for all these years. It's gone on and on and on. The significance, the importance of what happened. And I know that it's, it's a day that we set aside to celebrate the coming of Christ, the sacrifice that Christ came and paid for us. I was talking to the boys this morning uh, in Sunday school about the significance of the purity of the blood of Jesus. How significant that was. We, we couldn't pay the price for our own sin. We was lost. We was in need of a Savior. And God so loved us. He cared so much for us that He was willing to pay that price. And I love being able to take a day and celebrate the birth of our Savior, the birth of Christ, the birth of, of one who came and died for us. And I want my life to be an example. I want my life to be one that would point others towards Christ. So many times I fall. So many times I fail. But I want my life to represent Him. Amen.
Jesus Messiah. Jesus Messiah. Seven brothers come and receive the evening offering. And uh, be a blessing to you. Dear Lord, we love you, God. We thank you for the privilege we have to be in the house of the Lord. And you ought to be a part of the work and kingdom of God. We ask you, Lord Jesus, God, that you would bless us. Bless the giving tonight. Bless the chapel. Bless all the ministries of this church, Lord. And God will give you all the glory and the praise for what you do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
reads in John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. <clears throat> And the darkness comprehended it not. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We just enjoy to the world, page 415. <coughs> Miracle 
that took place with Mary. What happened with Hannah and her giving birth to Samuel? That was a miracle, a great miracle. But nothing compared to the miracle of Mary. When you think about it, when you think about Zacharias and Elizabeth, that was a miracle. It was the miracle of God, but it, can, does, it, has, it cannot compare to the great miracle of Mary that a virgin would conceive and bring forth a child. Amen. What a tremendous miracle.
Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and shall bring forth the Son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his, unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and called his name Jesus. Then on page 413, it came upon a midnight clear. It's two flats. Sister Katie, come get ready to
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one in his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was in the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. It was Christmas Eve in the Austrian Alps, and Pastor Joseph Moore was preparing for the midnight service. He was distraught when he found out that the church organ was broke, ruining prospects for that evening's carefully planned music. But Pastor Moore was about to learn that our problems are God's opportunities, and that the Lord causes all things to work together for good to them that love Him. It came to pass, it came to Pastor Moore's mind to write a new song, one that could easily be sung without an organ. Hastily he wrote the words, Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Taking the text to his organist, Franz Gruber, he explained the situation and asked Franz to compose a simple tune. That night, December the 24th, 1818, Silent Night was, was sung for the first time as a duet accompanied by a guitar. 200 years ago, tomorrow, Silent Night. Silent Night, can we sing it tonight?
keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Brooks, the author of A Little Town of Bethlehem, 
is considered as one of the great preachers in American history. But on December the 24th, 1865, traveling by horseback from Jerusalem, he attended a Christmas Eve service at the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. He never could get away from the wonderful experience of that night at that very place where Jesus was born. Three years later, as he prepared for Christmas season of 1867, he wanted to compose a Christmas hymn for the children to sing during their annual program. Recalling the inspiration of that earlier Bethlehem experience, he penned the words to a little town of Bethlehem. He asked his organist, Louis Redner, to write the music to his poem. Louis struggled with the assignment, complaining of no inspiration. Finally, on the night before the Christmas program, he awoke in the middle of the night with a melody ringing in his soul. He jotted down the melody, then went back to sleep. The next day, a group of six Sunday school teachers and 36 children sang, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Page 14.
to Lincoln. All right. Lincoln, you want to come up and stand up here so we can sing to you, buddy? If you're if you're too embarrassed, if you're if you're too embarrassed or too shy, you don't have to. season that we have together, Lord, to celebrate the birth of our Savior. God, we pray, Lord, that you bless each family. God, bless them with the wonderful presence of the Lord during this season. God, I pray, Lord, God, that you would just let your presence be felt among us. God, as we share the Christmas story one with another and among our families, God, I pray, just let your presence be there. I pray, Lord God, that you would speak to lost loved ones during this Christmas season, to backsliders, Lord, during this Christmas season. Let them have an understanding of Jesus Christ, amen, and what the Lord would like to do in their life during this Christmas season. And we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name, amen.